Hello, hello, hello. Now we are lucky that your replays are still working because this morning, War Gaming did a micro patch again. I don't know. They do it every what? Every week. Let me adjust my camera a little bit here. It's kind of weird. Oop, sorry about that. Well, it's a little bit wonky on this side, but it's okay. I guess you guys can forgive that. Let's see, what can I do the best? Over there. So, our friend Terminator underscore FF from the Kaka clan, is playing his ISU-152. He is on Redshire. It is a pure tier 8 game. And someone just invited him to Platoon. Now, I'm sure you saw the video's title and you clicked on it. Just like you guys clicked on the previous video with the cheater. <laughs> what uh, surprises me is that most people, most, not everyone, most people missed the point of that video. But that's okay. At least some of you got the actual message, but that's okay. So, you clicked on the title of this video, and you are expecting to see a certain gentleman. Who can that gentleman be? It has to be someone from... Wait, wait. Uh, uh, that lineup. I have to do it the opposite way around. I don't know how to flip a thing. Someone told me at some point, but I tried it and it didn't work. Oh, Let's see. Is it the KV-5? Is it the larva? The larva? Whatever. Is it the tranny... Transsexual 54? Is it the Skoda? Is it one of the Brusks? We shall see. Who can it be now? Do -do -do -do. We don't know. Who could it be? As... Uh, I did it again, didn't I? I activated the free camera. While switching from the OBS going to the game, I activated the free camera because I clicked the mouse button. <laughs> Ugh, I usually do that. But now it is... Did you do? Did you notice what the player did? He held down the right mouse button so that he would keep his aiming in one direction and he looked around. Very good, very smart. Of course, it's a Burask that got him, of course! It has to be a Barask. It's always a Barask. Back in the day, we didn't have any Barasks. We didn't have any clown cars. We didn't have any E25s or Leffies or KV5s or... All this super crap that's gone into the game. Or SU-130PM or Shit PKs or Skoda T56 or BZ-176 and... Ay ay ay. Hello, Barask. You don't have the gun depression. Gun depression raining down on me. Just like the guy who is shooting me. Hello. Ah. He is using the gun which has a faster reload around seven to eight seconds. I can't remember. And it does a 390 alpha. Let's check. Yep, 390 alpha. 1007 meters per second. And on the premium, 1259. 265 pen. And the regular is 225. 40 pen more. Shoot! Ah. Uh, you're gonna get shot again, buddy. You're gonna get shot. Go behind the rock, go behind the rock, go behind the rock. Go behind the rock. Obviously, that guy could shoot you from over there. Anyway. So, did you guys catch it? Let me guess. Most of you didn't. Let's see what the player is going to do. And then I'm going to show you exactly what happened. This is not the first time that I watched this replay. You guys know, when it has to do with cheaters and assholes, I have to watch it previously in order to determine whether it is 
truly an asshole or truly a cheater. So let's see, first of all, what's going on here. Hmm. Nice. We are at 1031. Now, let us rewind it and go from the beginning very quickly. Okay, here we are. Now, I think I know what Wargaming fixed with the micro patch. The game doesn't crash. Well, at least I checked it now multiple times. It doesn't crash when I press left on the replay, so it would go back 20 or how many seconds. So let's activate the free camera right away from here. And as you can see, it is 1458. Only one second has passed. Because in case you guys didn't know, the round starts at 1459. It doesn't start at 15 exactly. Minor difference, but it's still a difference. So we are going to follow the G soar and see what he does. And we're going to make this uh, faster so that you guys wouldn't get bored. Okay, he's arrived at his location. We get slower. Panonia Panzer has arrived there. Now let me pause this for a second. I want to check something very quickly. Okay, let's continue. Well, for you it was a mere second. For me it was... Uh, forget it. So, GSAR 1008 and Irish Oak and Kanonia Panzer be Paladin goes and pushes him from behind. Well, we can see that who the who the aggressor is. You know, let me take a sip of water. Wow. Look at this guy. Look, look at this guy. Look at this canon in Yak Panzer. Being an absolute prick. Just, you know, just like that. And now they're pushing each other. And what are these guys actually offering in the game? And now, they're sh and now they're shooting each other. Wow, good job, good job. Good job, both of you. So that is minus two guns from the game. Now, when you respond to the aggressor with this type of behavior, you too become part of the problem and you too should be reported. Now, what we see on the screen, you know, the lamp and the burrasque is what you saw earlier. It's not what's happening here. Look, look what these idiots are doing. Look, look, look. Mine is two guns, for, you know, from the game. And one of them is an autoloader. I mean, when someone pushes you, if you push him back, uh, he has the right to report you. And this is the case in at most of times. And most of times, this is the case. Sometimes they do it on purpose. They come, they push you a little bit, see if you're going to react. And once you react, they send a ticket and you get banned, not them. Did you guys catch that? These are sick people with sick mentalities. They have inferiority complexes. They're just, I'm going to say it as it is, they're just assholes. And the only thing that they care about is to ruin other people's game. These guys over here are worse than the cheater that we saw yesterday. Because the cheater that we saw yesterday, in all due fairness, in all due fairness, he plays his game, he doesn't push people around. What he does is unfair, yes, it's unfair advantages. But he doesn't do this. In my opinion, these guys are a bigger problem. Because they don't need to download anything, they don't have to pay for any cheats, they don't have to, you know... Oh, look, look, look at this, look. Okay, and now, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do here. This is what we saw earlier on. Uh, back in the day, you could just keep the camera rolling. You know, the free camera rolling. But wait a second, wait a second. What's going on here? Okay, let's give back control to the player. And uh, we'll take it from here.
at some point, our player realizes that, yeah, that this is going on, and we're back here. And now we know the entire context. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, context is a very important word in every language of the world. The context, what happened before and what happened after, or what is written before and written after. Never quote the text or part of a movie or a clip, etc., etc. The context gives you the true meaning of what is being said or what has tra transpired. So in this case, we know that these guys over here are just a bunch of idiots. And um, yeah, let's make this faster. Two times speed. The Canonian founder says, I will use you. I will just use you as a meat shield. There's a problem. If your teammates lose by a big margin, whoever is going to converge on your location is going to be most likely uh, in high numbers. So there's no point, really. There's really, there's really no point. Okay, now this guy is running away. Okay, let's put it back at regular speed. Let's take a look here. Ally Lorraine 15551 was lost in battle. He committed suicide. The artillery shot the, shot the rock and he committed suicide, most likely. <laughs> and the KV-5 says, One thing I don't understand is how many useless... Uh, show that. Uses ahem, probably mofos. Make it up to tier 8. XD. Smiley. And the Kanarinya Panzer is back! Nice. Nice, just, just, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. Seriously, where do you get these motherfuckers from? Oh, he's, yeah, he probably got trapped. This is the fixed camera. Yeah, by the time you turn, you're going to be dead. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead by the time you turn. Putting real money into the game, says our friend. Putting real money into the game. The Burrasque just took out the uh, the two light tanks. Now we have this other useless mofo over here. He has one kill. And the ELC took out the Progetto. But I mean, what are you going to do? You have a MKPZ-68P, a Kanonanyak Panzer. Let's see. Let's... Click uh, Alt. When you click Alt, the names come on the left when they're on the far right. Did you guys know that? I've said that in a couple of videos. Scorpion G, Lava. Lava, I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a... And the artillery is still alive. If these guys were not pushing each other around and they were concentrating on the game, they would have probably won this. Spoiler, spoilers. Uh... They're going to lose. But let's see how they're going to lose. I've seen the result on the first screen. I haven't clicked on the other two screens. Unfortunately, Ian's ELC got taken out by the um, GW Tiger Peak. Barack is still holding up. Basically, they are one of each kind, except for a light tank, the enemy, versus one tank destroyer, this guy, and the Burrasque. Both auto-loaders, not auto-reloaders, auto-loaders. Oh! <laughs> Let's watch that again. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Let's... Uh... Oh, I can't move into the free camera? Okay. Fine. No problem.
Let's put this in slow motion and let's watch the shot come in. He has 774 HP. Watch the shot. Watch the shot. Here it is. Incoming! Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ma, bellissima. And our friend is laughing. Let me go. Baraski is doing good, but unfortunately. Oh. Unfortunately, uh, he's one versus three. And, well, okay. One of them is a very, very dangerous medium tank. The guy that just shot him. He has a chance if he goes behind those trees, but unfortunately, the guy is fast. Unfortunately. Now, this is the type of flare that you feel sorry for. Because he really, really tried. Let's go and look at the post-game stats. I'm sure that I'm going to see a very low number on the... On the two tank destroyers, the two assholes. <laughs> the way... <laughs> the way that the Jizor died was hilarious. Hilarious. Let's see. Car, correct tab. What? Add a global. I have two Ash... Uh, uh, ahem. Gentlemen on my team. <laughs> we saw them. Okay, buddy, you got lucky. You only made 15,000 credits. 386 XP. It was a loss. Let's see. Yeah, the Burask did very, very, very well. Almost three and a half thousand damage, three kills. Top in damage, top in kills, top in basic speed. 646 on a loss. Now, uh, no big surprise, but... Okay, this guy did 701 damage. He took eight shots, seven hit, three penetrated. And, well, he's still in the bottom five. And, of course, the Kanonenyak Panzer... Took two shots, um, and he did, uh, yeah, yeah, 73. Good job, good job, good job, very good job. You guys really helped your team. You really, really helped your team into uh, making it easier to lose. So basically, you were helping the enemy by, by being just a bunch of assholes. And let's see, and our friend lost credits. Five shots. Or hit to penetrate. Not a very expensive tank to play, but ah, okay. Still, if you don't do perform well on the battlefield, it's a tech tree tank, and if you die early, well, you're not gonna make many credits. Anyway, uh, that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. From what I understood from the these past few months, you guys love cheater and asshole content. Cheater regarding, you know, mods, game rigging cheaters, etc, etc. Well, I'm gonna try to upload as much as possible whenever I find this stuff. You can't find it every day. Anyway, and having said that, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to, you know, I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.